guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and that your monday's off to a great start today we're going to come on here and do a little masking i wanted to share with you guys this glam glow mask it's the glam glow super mud clearing treatment mask this mask i know i recently got in my, in my sephora favorite set it was the trending beauty now set so i wanted to go ahead and try this out on camera i have tried this out previously but i wanted to use this on camera so that i can give you guys my impressions of it and let you know my thoughts and my opinions on this product so what you're supposed to do is actually cleanse your face before you use this so my face has just been cleansed it's nice and clean um so then after you do that you it says you apply a thin layer to clean skin leave on for five to 20 minutes it says you can use it as a full face mask one to three times a week or you can spot treatment you can use it as a spot treatment. I'm going to use it as a full mask because I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm having some issues going on with my skin still. This is the one that this side right here for some reason keeps acting up. And I don't know if it's because I sleep on my side and I put my hand on my face. And I'm thinking that's probably why I keep getting issues on this side of my face. Who knows? Um, but I know that Peter Thomas Roth spot, those little dots are really helping. But there's still, I, I could use a little bit of extra help. So do you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to use this to try to give myself a little a bit of extra help. But I want to also show you guys my, my shirt here. I really like this shirt. I recently ordered it from Amazon. I don't know if you guys are Gilmore Girl fans, but I love the Gilmore Girls. I'm starting the whole series all over again. I've been watching all of the episodes, and I really love it. So then I found this cute shirt. I'll show you. Isn't that just super adorable? I love it. It's the Luke Steiner. From the Gilmore Girls, I love it. Maybe you guys are not interested in Gilmore Girls, but I am, and I know the new series is coming out soon. So I wanted to support it because I really do love Lorelai and Rory, and I love the whole town, honestly. So anyway, let's get back to the mask. I just had to show you guys the shirt. So anyway, so now let's go ahead and apply this mask to my face. I'm going to apply a thin layer, it says, all over your face. There's not much in these little deluxe size tubes, so I know this mask smells very minty. So if you don't like something that's very minty, <laughs> it looks like war paint to be honest with you. But there's little leaves in it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but like right now there's one on my chin. There's little leaves into this mask, and I'm not exactly sure what they're for. Maybe I'll look that up to see why there are leaves in it, but I know there are leaves in this mask, which if you find that to be a little weird or gross you might not like this mask just dropped it onto my pants nice it's a good thing i'm still wearing pjs so i'm just going to keep on applying this so let's put a thin layer so i'm just going to make sure that i have good enough coverage that my face is completely covered like almost like this side here this side's pretty good my chin could use a little bit extra it looks so gross on your hands it looks like tar but gray tar. So I was able to use this mask. I'd say this is my third time using it. And it looks like we're starting to run out. So I'd say this deluxe size sample lasted me three uses. So if you're one that, wanting to try this. And if you have that Sephora set. Or if you're interested in that Sephora set. This is something pretty cool to try out. So let's finish putting this on. And then we're going to leave it set for 20 minutes. And then I'll come back on here. And show you guys what it looks like before I remove it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the tip of my nose. That looks gorgeous. What do you think? I look like I'm like camouflage. I don't know if you guys can see, like, I'll see if I can get it to zoom in see, or see, focus so you can see the big chunks of it. Do you see the big chunks on my fingers of the product? I'm not sure what that is or why that's in there, but I do know it feels very cooling and minty on your face. So if you don't like that minty, so it's like a little bit tingly. If you don't like that minty tingling feeling, you, oh gosh, I just put it on my lip. You might not like this mask. I like it but and I have sensitive skin so for me to like it with sensitive skin and it doesn't irritate my skin that's pretty good so I think we're actually out now the tube feels like it's completely empty oh oh no we got just a little bit left that I can put it onto my forehead oh what's dropping on my pants is these little pieces so those pieces are falling onto my pants so this is a messy mask <laughs> so you get little pieces everywhere just be careful not to wear light colored clothing or maybe you should do it over like a bathroom sink or something. So that way there if you do have any fallout from the mask that it'll fall onto something that's not going to be messed up. Okay, so the mask is completely on 
and my hands are my hand is completely dirty so my hands were clean that's another thing I want to add make sure you always cleanse your hands and your face before you put a new mask on so now I'm gonna leave this mask set for about 20 minutes and then I'll come back on here and let you guys see it right before I remove it and then once I remove it we'll come back on and discuss my thoughts or my final my final thoughts and opinions on this mask okay so you guys hang tight okay guys it's been 20 minutes and this mask has been on my face and it feels very 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 tight my face honestly feels like I'm getting a facelift right now. My face feels very drawn back and tight and I feel like, I don't know if you can see it or not, let me see. Like look, if I, look, it's so tight, it like pulls the skin. And then here, if you see those little dark spots, that's all the little pieces of, I guess, leaves or something. I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest with you. But my skin right now, like the, the mask itself feels very, I don't know, it just feels very strange. So it's a very strange feeling mask I know for me with my dry skin after I use this mask I do have to use a heavy duty moisturizer because I feel like it pulls everything out of your skin so now what I'm going to go do is actually remove the mask and then I'll come back on here and show you guys what my skin looks like after I remove the mask so just hang tight okay so now I'm back I've cleaned my face off I've taken the mask completely off my face and I'm back to let you guys know my final thoughts and my final impressions on this mask so let's first go into Sephora and look at what it says about this mask because I want to give you guys as much information on it as I possibly can because not only does it it's my opinion but I want you guys to know what it claims to do so let's see what Sephora says Sephora says this is good for normal oily or combination skin types so typically since I have dry skin they're saying that it shouldn't be good for my skin but honestly it works I'm gonna actually say that they're wrong about that I think if you're gonna use this and you have dry skin like I do the only thing you're gonna need to do is use a heavy moisturizer afterwards that's gonna really help your skin rehydrate because it does pull everything out including your oils so I just say use a heavy moisturizer afterwards it says this is a scientifically advanced treatment to target prevent and heal problematic skin solutions for acne and blemishes pores and oiliness so again, like I said, they're saying this is for oily skin, which I don't have oily skin. I have super dry skin and it still works for me. It says this formula was clinically developed by Glam Glow Derm Dermatological Chemist to help fight all common skin concerns, including breakouts, discoloration, black and whiteheads, razor bumps, and ingrown hair. Powerful skin clearing mud visibly draws out dirt and congestion while proprietary six acid blends dramatically brightens and softens your skin. It works to draw dirt and pores with activated X charcoal, leaving skin smooth and healthy looking. It says it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. So, okay, so my final impressions of this product, since I've used it three times, so I can give you guys a good impressions on it. I think this is a good mask. I think if you have any skin type, you can use it. But like I said, if you have dry skin, you're just going to want to definitely use a heavy moisturizer afterwards because your skin's going to feel very dry and very tight. Mine feels very dry and very tight right now, but it feels very, very soft to the touch. It's very, very soft. I'm going to pull you guys in as close as I can so you can see. Maybe you'll see like, my pores look a little bit cleaner. My pores look very, very clean. I think it honestly gives my skin a very healthy looking glow. Even though it's dried. It's dried my skin out. My skin is still, it, it just looks healthy. It looks all overall healthy, I think. So I really do enjoy this mask. Now I would say the downside to this mask for me is I don't like the little leaves that are in it. I'm not even sure because I don't even see anywhere what it, what it, where it says what the leaves are. And I don't particularly like that because they kind of fall all over the place while you're applying the mask. Now once it dries, then they're kind of stuck. It's kind of like paper mache to your face. So that's fine then, I guess, once they dry. But just applying the mask, they will kind of start to fall off your face, which is a little annoying. The other problem, I think, with this mask is that it is very tingly when you first put it on so if you have sensitive skin then I'm not sure that you would like this mask because it is super super tingly I'm not sure that it would feel good for someone who has sensitive skin I do have sensitive skin too however and it's not bad the tingling sensation doesn't last the entire time you have the mask on it's kind of like while it's drying down and it dries down really 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 quick I give it maybe four or five minutes and it's dried down so that it looks like it did when I before right before I removed the mask it's that nice hard looking texture so I would say this is a good mask. I'm not sure it's worth the price tag. I think if you're going to try this out, they do have a little sample set at Sephora. You get like five, I think it's five days worth. Let me look, double check before I say this. You get, um, yes, you get five single treatments and that's $22. So that's still expensive because it looks like the treatments are only 0.1 ounce. So they're really small little samples. 
But if that's something you were interested in trying, and then you have five of them. So if you wanted to try them out with like a couple people in your family, then you could do it that way also. But for the full size for this product, the full size is a 60, $69. So a full size, which is 1.2 ounces, is $69. So it's a very expensive product, to be honest with you. I'm just not sure that it's worth the price tag for my skin type. I think it does a great job. I'm not going to knock it on that whatsoever. And I feel like after I've used this, give my skin one or two days, and I feel like it's kind of like cleansing itself. I feel like it's pulled everything out, so then I will have a breakout. I'll go through like a little breakout session, which is fine by me because it's pulling all the impurities out. I don't mind going through a breakout session when I know there's a reason why. I hate going through a breakout when you're like, I have no idea what I've done to my skin. I don't know why this is breaking out like this. Now I know in about one or two days, I'm going to have a breakout because of this, but it's because it's pulling all the impurities out of your skin. So I'm perfectly fine with that. So I think it is a good product. I'm just not sure $69. I think if you could possibly catch it on sale or find it into a set and try it out, I wouldn't pick it up for $69 to try it out. I would see if you can somehow get a small size of it to, to test it out on your skin to see if you actually enjoy it. Because me, after trying it for three times, to be honest with you, I'm not going to purchase a full size. I think it's good, but for me with my dry skin, I think I have to use too much moisturizer afterwards and that could also clog my pores that it's already opened. So for me, it's not, not something that I'm going to end up purchasing. But I think if you have oily skin or if you have combination skin like it says, I think you might love this product because it does such a great job of pulling everything out, including the oils. So I think that this is basically for who it says. I think, like I said, if you do have dry skin, just be careful with the moisturizer you use afterwards that is not going to clog your pores. Make sure you use something that's not going to mess your face up afterwards after you've done all that work to using the Glam Glow Mask. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this mask. I'd love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.